our main event of the evening, a 100-pound catchweight fight. Coming out first with an 11 6 amateur record making his pro debut, the people's champ, Jason Ellis, of Fort Lee Training Academy. He was scheduled to fight Jake Smith, but on uh, about 10 days ago, Jake had a rib pop out. And so he wasn't able to compete today. So his teammate, Amta Salim, took his place. Well, that's nice of a teammate. Hey, I was supposed to be trained for your fight. Now I'm, I'm going to fight your fight. Yeah. But it's going to be quite a good fight, too, I think. That it should be a good fight. I agree, it should be a good fight. Justin Ellis, he's a blue belt. Head Planet, Brazilian GQ on Gerald Strebrand. The number two ranked amateur middleweight in the Pacific Northwest and Nevada. And sixth ranked amateur middleweight in the West. So, he definitely uh, has it together for his pro debut. He predicted a stoppage by elbow. Elbow stop, yeah. Very specific. Coming out, representing Gracie Baja, Portland, with a professional record of 1-0, 30-year-old Amsa Salim, originally from Bethlehem, Palestine. And we are live. We're live here. There we go. Hello, Facebook man. Once again, coming out with Coach Fabiano Scherner, Andy Metzger. He's an orthodox fighter. Won his first special about by unanimous decision. Like I said earlier, replaced Dick Smith on 10 days notice. Yeah, that's... That's all good. That's a, that's a big take. Put the check yeah. on, on a week and a half, not like two weeks. Yeah. Having to cut weight and so on and so forth. The game that uh, I think you would like to use is the Clint and Dirty Box Muay Thai. He's already said he's a kickboxer. All right, let's go to our official ring now. Great commentator, Steve, with the first coach. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The man, this is it. The moment we've all been waiting for. The point of fire, May Event. Uh, in black. Ooh, 
good straight back. That's a game of the Oh! And that is it! That's it. That's it. Well, didn't see that coming. Holy cow. Neither did Ellis. Neither did Ellis. Holy cow. Head kick knockout in our main event. Ten days notice. Yep. And I think Ellis just figuring out what happened. Still stomping on his side. He's going to be watching a bit. His teammates should get to it. Yeah, it might be a good idea. What? That didn't last long. Wow. That's what I get to do on Saturday. That was the question we had on 10 days notice. Could Hamsa come in there and work? 22 seconds. TKO. All right. That, that is the answer to the question right there. Could he step in on 10 days notice and finish and fight? That's all it took. 22 seconds and a head kick. All right, we go to Christopher Crow for the official decision.